I'd like to speak today about hydrogen inhalation in clinical environments, hospitals and ICU, emergency centers, and at home. Hydrogen inhalation has its place in all of these settings, including in an ambulance, and even on the side of a football field where contact sports is being played, somebody gets a concussion, good to get them on the hydrogen and oxygen right away. Probably, I mean, the strongest application, of course, would be in ICU, when people are dying or close to death, and the point is to save their lives and bring them back and get them out of the ICU and back home. The basic principle is that the sicker you are, or the closer to death store you are, the, more, the stronger it's going to work. And I'm specifically speaking about hydrogen and oxygen, combined gases. Certainly in ICU, they're not going to stop giving oxygen. So it makes total sense to give hydrogen and oxygen, and there are machines that combine the gases, and this is ideal. At home, one can use a pure hydrogen inhalation machine and use different oxygen therapies separately. I use EWAT at home every day, exercise with oxygen and hydrogen. But I am going to go back to using hydrogen oxygen inhalation. In the, in the doctor's office, in the clinic where a person is just visiting for the day or one, twice or three times a week, hydrogen gas it, it would be it has its place. People can experience it. But really, in terms of anything below emergency situations, it's best to have a hydrogen unit at home because you're going to want to use it every day or at least five days a week. It's a health practice. It's something that you can use every day for the rest of your life, and people are doing that already. You know, to do it once a week or twice a week, well, it just doesn't quite make sense. Once you start using it, you use it. Of course, as you get better and as symptoms recede, sure, the pressure or the need decreases. But even the per when you get back to perfect health, then it be, starts acting as an anti-aging thing. Makes you younger again. So it, it's, a, it's a type of thing where when you get out of an emergency situation, you really want a unit at home. Doctors still can have them in the office. There are always situations where it can be used. You can introduce the, the therapy to patients and then they can think about buying a unit for themselves. Doctors can get involved in that, helping patients do that. So, it's a very interesting new therapy, new paradigm of treatment. It's very basic. Nothing is more basic than hydrogen. Hydrogen is more basic than oxygen. We know we can be included in the water you drink and in gas as you breathe. You can, some machines you can even breathe all night long. So for sure, the more dire medical situations suggest this. All night long while you're sleeping, and then when the emergency passes, then you can lighten up. 